Hello, and uh, welcome to our end of the year project. Mr. Marshall here, I just wanted to, before we see all of the answers to those questions from you guys, I just want to tell you guys, uh, congratulations. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't emotional doing this video or watching your videos and putting this together. Just right to the heart. I mean, <laughs> our school is going to be different without you guys. Uh, but I hope you know that uh, even if you aren't at Sacred Heart, it's a little bit of Sacred Heart that goes with everybody that leaves here. And uh, I'll guarantee that every person that you talk to will say, that kid went to Sacred Heart. I can just tell by the way they act. And I love hearing that around the town of Hudson. So let's get to your answers. And uh, know that even though this isn't the ending we wanted to the school year, it might be the ending we needed. And uh, I'm grateful for your grace in uh, this transition. And I cannot wait to hear about the great things you guys have done. Not only in school, but when you're older and in this community. Because you're the future. And truthfully, you're the present as well. So, let's get to your answers. The one thing I'm mostly going to miss about Sacred Heart is playing football with friends. Really, I'm going to miss the whole thing, but Pacific is in capital letters. So, um, probably um, the staff. The staff work really hard to make us like happy and have fun. And they work really hard to like let us w learn new things and they have great ideas. They're just like awesome. Well, probably going to church and like the people and like the staff and the counselor and stuff like that. What I will miss about Sacred Heart is that I won't be able to see my friends. I won't be able to go to Mass, and I'll miss all the teachers and the students. Something I will miss about Sacred Heart is playing with our school. A special thing I will miss about Sacred Heart is all the kindergartners and preschoolers, because I would always read their books to them. And when, um, and when they, at lunchtime, they would, some of them would go, like, and I, they would all hold my hand for no reason, and they would, we would all like, ah, like they would all hold my hand, and I'd, some of them would, hold my lunch pail, hold my lunch pail, <laughs> and um, we would, I would go, choo 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 choo, and I'm gonna miss that because there's no other kids there, and we don't have a lot of lunches together, and I'm gonna miss my preschool friends. I think I will miss from Sacred Heart is, well, everything. The teacher that it impacted me the most was Mrs. Martinez because she did fun things for me in my class. She took unexciting things like map tests and made them fun by adding candy. Mine is Miss Jessica. Um, she was my first teacher. And when I came in class, I never wanted to go in there. I like there was a kid yelling, and I did not want to go. And Miss Jessica, she's like, it's okay, come on, come on, follow me, you're safe. And she, she told me it would be safe in there, and I trusted it, and it was. So that was my first day of school, and she made a big impact. Thank you, Miss Jessica, you taught me a very lot. And he taught me how to talk to in a big crowd and everything. Thank you. Well, that was probably the instruction because he was always there for me when I needed help or I needed someone to talk to, especially at home or especially at school, mostly at school, and sometimes at home. This is Shadi. I've I had her the longest, which was second through what? Mr. Marshall made a huge impact on me by showing me the type of person that I could be. Like all of them have been so awesome and helpful um, to me and they've always tried to help 
and like they just they're just really like thoughtful and kind and like understanding i really I don't, I don't really know like i really they're just all all of them really but um i mean like mr marshall you um have been you've helped me a lot through like everything really and deacon john too and miss martinez and just like i don't know like everyone <laughs> um but mrs reem snyder she did I did have her as a principal and for kindergarten and first grade. So, I did have her a lot. And I had Mrs. Shreddy for three years. So really all of them, they're all just awesome. One of the staff members that has made an impact on me is Mr. Marshall, because he's helped me through tough times. Well, I have a few. Actually, I have a lot. Um, the egg drop. Um, going to Lansing to meet Bishop Boyer and um, tour the capital. My favorite memories are when we surprised all our friends for their birthdays and everything. And when um, the first time uh, I got a per I got Dakota um, to talk to me, which was very exciting because it was like probably the a couple first days I think. And I was excited that I, a little kindergarten or preschooler, a preschooler, talked to me, and I'm had that I'm glad he got out of his shell. He's a little bit shy, but I'm glad that he talked to me. It was my most exciting part. Notre Dame with Mr. Marshall, Father Todd, the teachers, and my students and friends, and we saw amazing things went to Mass, and went to the gift shop. One of my favorite memories is playing sardines. Well, there's a lot of good memories at Sacred Heart that I had. Probably one of them is when I went to Notre Dame the second time. Because it was so much fun. It was, and plus we got to hang out with Father Todd, Deacon John, and Mr. Marshall, and a lot of people were there. It was just, it was just a good experience, and it was fun. I have, I've had a bunch of memories, like our plays, it's so much fun to practice and then sometimes make mistakes and it's just like funny and you just all start laughing. It's just, it's just so much fun to do that. And at Kimball Camp, I'm never for gonna, gonna forget that. That was so much fun. And, oh yeah, when we do our appreciation nights, we have like dinner together and we do a service project. And we play um, sardines. Like, I remember the first time when I hid in the podium and no one could find me. It was so good. Um, and then, like, I've had a lot of funny memories, too. Like, one, um, I think you've heard this one before, but I'll just say anyways. Like, me, Emily, and Ellie were taking trash, like, a, tra a big trash bag of like trash from the gym across the road and it had a lot of stuff in it. And we got to the middle of the road and the bag ripped and there was just like sand and like everything like just like just junk from the gym all over the road and there was a car coming. Luckily in the car was Mrs. Reem Snyder. But if it wasn't, that would have been bad. <laughs> but luckily it was and she helped us clean it all up and stuff. And I've just had a lot of great memories. I'm never for, gonna forget all the fun memories we've had. And sometimes I like to say, um, my time at Sacred Heart was long and exciting, but memories are like, they're even longer. I get to save them. One of my favorite memories is playing football with friends after school and with Dan. One of my favorite memories at Sacred Heart was going to Notre Dame and being able to touch the basketball court. Upcoming advice for sixth graders, um, be yourself in any way and make friends with the little ones and um, help a person in need. You should probably enjoy the time you have at Sacred Heart and just, yeah, enjoy the time and, you know, just be yourself and 
Have fun. My advice for incoming sixth graders is that no matter what you're going through, someone at Sacred Heart is always there for you and they will pray for you. Enjoy your last year at Sacred Heart and make new friends along the way. Be a good student and it's actually really fun there. My advice from new sixth graders is to follow the rules and have fun. Finally, my advice for sixth graders is that they find joy in everything this year. I'm not really sure about that. Like, I mean, you just gotta, like, when you go to a different school, like, for instance, I'm going to Hudson, I'm gonna, like, take all my memories and my fun times and all the lessons I've learned from Sacred Heart and bring them to the, to Hudson or, like, whatever school you're going to. And they'll just help me through it. And, I mean, I'm really sad that I'm leaving because Sacred Heart is so much fun and awesome. And this year, since we didn't get to quite to finish it and have like our Mackinac Island trip or have anything fun, like we didn't get to do anything, I'm especially sad and stuff. But, you know, can't help it. But, um, but yeah, but when I go to Hudson, just gotta remember all the fun time I had at Sacred Heart. So yeah, maybe when you, when the sixth, well, the fifth graders, but when they become sixth graders, they'll be sixth graders. So maybe when they leave Sacred Heart, they can carry along all their fun times too. And now to cap off our video, it wouldn't be really the sixth grade if one person didn't decide, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So here's something a little bit different to end our video. Day has come to end. I hate to go and leave all of my friends. Farewell, I miss you, preschool kids. Thanks for playing and all the fun things that we did. So long, farewell. Everyone in class and field trips, my principal and mass. So long, farewell. I love you, Miss Martinez and Mr. Marshall and all my other teachers. Hehehehe <laughs>